I see clearly and the darkness and the light not so much. I see clearly in the darkness someone around you and your energy, or this could be you, you see very clearly in the dark, in the light, not so much. Something's not being illuminated to you, or at least that's how you feel at this time. You feel there's some unspoken truth that needs to be revealed. You wish they hadn't said that. So do they. You wish they hadn't said that. So do they. So you could be embroiled in some sort of conflict with another person. Words were exchanged. This puts you in a very dark place. Might have even felt like a setback in your spiritual journey. It is not. It's just a purge. You're purging out these energies, so maybe this is like a grand finale of sorts for the ending of 2022, which is a six, Put the past, putting the past finally behind you. This could be occurring in the dream state, does not necessarily have to be in the 3D, but whatever is occurring in the dream state is lingering in your day, and so you could definitely be aware of a heavy energy that you could have gotten into it with elsewhere, so to speak. Let's see what else we get, Spirit. Thank you so much. Ooh, ooh look at this death. Number 13, that's a four. This is a no major transformation endings. You're releasing the past for sure. Making room for new things. Something has been illuminated to you, a truth. I see clearly in the darkness and the light, not so much. So perhaps there is something that's occurred in your life that you just simply haven't wanted to acknowledge. And so you prefer to stay in the dark. And now you have no choice but to face the truth. The divine is gifting you. Please believe it. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. The sun, number 19. And the moon. Wow, wow, and more wow. And death at the top of the deck. So, yeah, major, major, major transformation. You are, in fact, coming out of a dark period or what has felt like a dark period in your life. Maybe it's been so heavy that you've been in denial and this denial has limited your ability to accept the gifts that have been so freely presented to you by spirit, maybe you just didn't have the capacity because of the darkness to see what was right in front of you. <sighs> this is, I'm like literally kind of overwhelmed. We've got the sun, masculine energy, illumination, happiness, fertility, pregnancy, reborn energy for sure. And we have the feminine, the moon, Darkness, depth, secrets. Anxiety, deception. So there's a blending of sorts between the sun and the moon, the masculine and the feminine could be coming together in the 3D. Having put an end to planetary upheavals, because behind that we have the Wheel of Fortune. And then we've got the Four of Wands. I mean, Four of Pentacles. Urgh, I'm going to stop misreading my cards. Four of Pentacles. And then we've got the Hermit. And then we have the Hierophant. So this is definitely... Um, divinely driven, guided. This is beyond human conception, really. This is galactic energy. 
for sure. A combining of forces, a combining of the light and the dark. Energetic shifts. Ooh, woo. Okay, you know what? I'm going to clarify these with another tarot deck. Ace of Pentacles. You're seeing clearly now. Gifts are being bestowed upon you. You have ended many chapters. The book is closed. A new book is beginning. You're starting a new book. You could even be a writer. You're getting ready for some new projects. You're getting ready for the new year, 2023. You're relinquishing the darkness that was putting a veil before you for not recognizing gifts that were given to you. And also, perhaps you may not have been that much in a giving spirit yourself, which is your natural inclination. And you are now, once again, coming back into your own full energy, fully energetically speaking. You're coming back around 360, the wheel spun. You're making a full turn, not a U-turn, going full circle forward. Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> Ten of Cups. Clarifying Ace of Pentacles. You're rejoicing. You're definitely coming together with a kindred soul. Four of Cups. After a lot of dissatisfaction, feeling what was like a missed opportunity when in fact it was just a growth spurt. Your missed opportunities were growth spurts. Okay, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, happy, happy family life. The cups are all full. They're being gifted to you from above. See, the cups are in the sky like little mini spaceships. Galactic. <laughs> Suspension at the bottom of the deck. Page of Pentacles. Coming out of long fortune. That's that wheel again. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. So blockages are being lifted. What was once suspended is that those doors are, there's new doors opening up. New doors opening up. It's got to do with your ascension, your soul growth. Coming out of what was a very heavy period of standing firm, standing your ground against a myriad of obstacles and other energies that quite frankly, really kicked you in your ass and you haven't forgotten those things, but you're not going to allow the past to hinder you or weigh you down anymore. Ace of Swords. Ten of Swords. Clarifying the Ace of Swords. No more self-sabotage. Taking these swords out of your chest, not trying to impale yourself anymore because of grief and sadness. Knight of Cups, some offer coming toward you that was once moving quite slow with this Knight of Pentacles. And then we've got Nine of Pentacles behind that. Queen of Swords and a Queen of Wands. Seven of Swords. So there's still some deception around you for sure. So do be mindful of any offers coming towards you at this time. Don't allow anything to hinder your path going forward. Your gifts that are yours, your destiny is yours. And whatever is being illuminated, has been illuminated, will release you from these swords. Death again. Death here. Transformation. Why is the sun here?
The sun is clarified by the Page of Swords. There's been some information definitely released. Seven of club, Cups, Clubs, Cups. So, Seven of Cups. I said Seven of Clubs. Clubs is Wands. Wands is Defenses. Still have your defenses up against any untruths that might be thrown your way. Eight of Cups. Eight of Wands, Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups. So someone has moved away from illusions. They're coming toward you quickly. Ten of Pentacles behind the Nine of Cups. So there is a trajectory that's moving forward. A lot of forward movement. No more slip sliding back and forth for you, collective. And if it does feel like that, at times still going forward, just remember that these are growth spurts, spiritual growth spurts. You could also have a masculine energy that is watching you, okay? Just trying to fill you out, fill your energy out trying to figure out which way to go to meet you, where to meet you, where to find you. The moon, they want to find you and they want to find you in a happy space. The moon, lovers, clarifying the moon. Nine of Wands, almost to the finish line. Seven of Pentacles, Art, Death again. A lot of trans transmutation and realization. Four of Swords, realizing that all the secrets, all the lies, all the mysteries that weren't really mysteries have made you or the person that whose energy you're picking up on has uh, made them sick, made them ill. Transmuting illness. Some of you could be coming off of a long period of illness. You're learning to heal yourself through diet, lots of water, mental agility, not allowing stressors, stress to eat you away, literally, because that's what stress does. It eats you away, makes your body prone to disease, autoimmune diseases in particular, lovers, a contract, spiritual contract coming together having never been really apart <laughs> and it's been a slow process look at the turtle look at that turtle I was just talking about my brother's childhood pet turtle named Kermit used to chase our cat in the house on top of shag carpet that was light blue. We needed a rake, literally, to keep the carpet like upright. We used to rake the rug. All right, I think that's it. We got the devil at the bottom now with the king of pentacles and a knight of swords and a king of wands and an empress. So empress, you've got a couple of masculine energies that are in a race to get to you. There are going to be some truths that you are going to find out about these energies, these cohorts that have at one time conspired against you using magic that didn't work, that will never work. And uh, yeah, you might even be receiving some apologies of some sort. Yep, King of Swords at the bottom. All right, I'm going to close this out and I will see you in another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you so very much.